I went to Oberlin, and it was just the greatest place in the world as far as I was concerned. It was not hard to get good grades, although I did get shaken up by a history professor's name, Harvey Goldberg. Harvey Goldberg, University of Wisconsin, was there. Uh, he hadn't finished his dissertation, so he had a, he was a fill in job in the history department. And he was so exciting. Uh, any student who took Harvey Goldberg's History of Europe um, described his electrical lectures, his style of filling up the blackboard with terms, and then this frenzied sort of lecturing style where he'd stand like a horse ready to start the race, and the bell would go, and he'd start pacing back and forth, uh, and the machine got out this information. I did not do well on Harvey's first exam, and it was probably the first time I was hit hard by a person I would call a, a true intellectual. And he could sort of see through the fluff and insist that that wasn't very good. So I decided, this is this guy is, is tough and I'm going to learn how to answer his questions. So that was one of the first times that just the, the challenge of this guy is bright and isn't going to tip nonsense, you got to know what you're saying. So he had an influence in his own way and he was, he was taking a Marxist perspective so that whatever he did in history, you peel it back and there was somebody making a buck and concealing you through religious liturgy or what have you. Um, and having a kind of intellectual axis that allowed you to look at complex historical stuff and then peel it back and there was this ultimate causal relationship that was there uh, made him just very exciting. And he was accessible to students and so anyway. Did you take more than one course? I just took the one, the one year course with him. He was only there two years and then he went on to Ohio State and eventually finished his, his dissertation and then came and taught in Wisconsin for the rest of his life, for the rest of his history. He was, by the time I came here, he was, again, a legend, but he was a legend here as yeah. opposed to Oberlin. Did you and he reconnect? We reconnected, he? yeah. And during the Vietnam War, we had, had a couple of interesting conversations because he was opposed to it and I was, I was opposed to it. Uh, but I always felt that Harvey was on the top of a ladder someplace. <laughs> um, I was never one who could sort of sit up late at night um, drinking and talking about the, the French literary circles or whatever. Uh -huh. Our styles were different, but I had every bit of it emerged.